friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I finally finished the deluxe tea kit that I've been talking about, and I'm going to do kind of a little unboxing of it. There are only 10 available, will only ever be 10 of this kit. It is limited edition, and um, it's kind of like the bird kit I did a couple months ago, but um, it's, you know, tea themed and it has different things, and it, it's totally, you know, put together separately and uniquely. So I will go through that in a minute, but tucked inside one of the packages and like here's a complete sealed up package tucked inside one of them is the stub from a guest check. It would be off the bottom of this guest check here. And then on the back of that, there's a little number written in PIM. And so it's randomly, I don't even know which one it's in. It's in one of these. And if you get it, and you message me on Facebook or Etsy and tell me the number that is on the back of the ticket, you will get this. It is an altered traveler's notebook cover. It is a pink traveler's notebook cover. I purchased this, I did not create it. It's actually from Michael's. And um, then I've altered it. So there's a coffee dyed guest check, a teapot. This is from Digital Collage Club and that's stitched on with some polka dot lace. There is a little teacup charm on a burgundy bulb pin and you can create inserts for it if you want. There are four elastics. There's a little, um, I like an ID card. You can put more cards here and there is a pen, a really pretty pen here. And then you also get this handkerchief that you can use and it coordinates with the kit so you could use items from the kit to create this. So I'll mail this to whoever, doesn't matter if it's US or international, whoever uh, gets that ticket and can message me the number, I will get this in the mail to them as a gift from me. So let's go through the kit. This is a pretty heavy kit. There's a lot of items in here. Let's see if I can slide it out. I hate taking it apart. It just looks so pretty. All right, so let's start with the pen. Each kit gets a pen. There's a couple different colors, but they all have that heart top and then the flowers on it. And it is just like a, a fine line black pen. I love this type of pen. It's just super, super pretty. So each kit gets one of those. Um, there's, I think there's like pink, there's blue. There's like cream. I think there's a couple different colors. You get a little bag and these little bags are courtesy of the Magnolia Seed. Her link should be below in the description box, but she sent me a few things to include in the kit. And so I did this, uh, or I used these to keep some of the smaller things from sliding around. Just a little bit of washi tape to hold it closed. You can reuse the bag and then inside, Everybody gets some embroidery thread. These are like thrifted or secondhand. I don't even remember where I got them. There's different amounts on each one, but the idea is for sewing and signatures or things like that. This one is a variegated pastel. Some of them are brown, some are pink, some are blue. They're, yeah, there's different colors and um, there's different amounts of thread, but way more than you need to for a journal. I wanted to make sure you had extra. Then you get a little bag with a few kind of tea themed stickers. I can't even get into it. There is one cat in a teacup sticker and there's varieties, different cats in different teacups, but there, here's the one for this. And then there are four like dessert type cake. You think teas and cake, tea and dessert. So here's the four stickers in this one, but there are a variety. So you may get different ones. So that is five total stickers and then of course you can reuse this little plastic bag that has pink flowers on it Then you get a playing card with three plastic paper clips in pink blue and white i ordered these specifically for the kit because of the color and i thought they were super cute and then this these playing cards are from tuesday morning and of course you can use the playing card as well then you will get some washi tape samples and i have used a division flash card as well as like a vintage uh, game card 
to hold them. So this is wide washi and it is like tea splatters and spills and rings. It's super wide. You don't get a whole lot of it. It's wrapped around just a couple times, but it is really wide. So you would be able to use it on a journal page or some cards or something. And then you get some of this teacup and plate washi, some uh, cakes and sweets. And then this really pretty, this has a paper clip on it because you have to peel off the backing to the tape, but it has this gold foiling and it's a beautiful tea set uh, washi. So that's what comes in the bag. Please bear with me as I put things back as I go. I want this kit to still look pretty and I don't want to have to remember where everything goes because my brain. Then you have, well, let's we'll start with, okay, so we have a Ziploc bag here with some more goodies. And then in here we have a little tag. These are courtesy of Digital Collage Club. And um, Tina at Digital Collage Club is always adding new collage sheets and printables to use in paper crafting and journals. And this is one of hers. They're the, um, I think they're the one inch circle, but I printed them a little bit bigger. And I printed it on kind of like this glossy or semi-gloss type paper and put in an eyelet and some um, trim or twine. Each one might be different. There's different colors and different pictures on the front. Some of them have sweets, some of them have teapots or teacups, and some are blue and some are pink and so forth. But um, I think it would be really cute too as a little charm or hanging off a page tucked in a pocket. But if you're interested, I've also have, um, I'll point out one or two other things from her shop. These teacups were from her shop as well, or teapots. But she has an extremely generous coupon for you guys. She offers yearly and lifetime memberships to her website. And if you look in the description box below, there's coupon codes. So you sign up. She is very, very sweet to offer me uh, part of the profit. So that really helps me keep everything running smoothly here. So go check out Tina, but you get one of those. <clears throat> and then you get some of these little reusable tea bags. They're really cute to collage on, tuck things in, turn it into pockets. So you get six blank ones and then one that I've already altered. It has some sheet fabric, a little bit of lace, and then this really cute charm that's a little tea bag and it says tea. So these are really cute to put in journals as well. And then you get a cardstock tag that has two bulb pins and two charms. One says a cup of tea solves everything and the other is the adorable little gold teapot and saucer. I thought those were the cutest, cutest little charms I think I've ever seen. So I knew I had to add those. These kits take a lot of research and time and work. I research multiple websites to get the supplies. I have to order the supplies. I have to put everything together, design things, print things, cut things, create things. It is a labor of love for sure. Okay, so let's do this little bag. So you have a little mini pink organza bag. These are so cute for journals as well you get four wooden teacup beads. There may be a, some, they may be the same, they may be different. They're all very similar, but they're wooden beads and they have little teacups on them. How cute is that? And so you get four of those. So cute. And then of course, reuse the bag. And then the other mini, oh dear, the other mini organza bag has just some found items or thrifted items or miscellaneous items. They could be beads, buttons, flat backs, junk jewelry. This one has two gold buttons, a green button and like this flat back sticker. Some of them have um, junk jewelry pieces. Some of them have watch faces. Let me see if I can show you here. You can see through the plastic. This has this um, like bow. This one here has a little watch face and some, some uh, buttons and flat backs as well. Again, you'll just totally random. I will grab one of these packs for you. So you get four little extra pieces like so. Making a mess. And then you do get a metal cutting die. <clears throat> Excuse me. Each one is different. Some of them are tea themed and some are just, I think one is like a vase with flowers and some are little words like love or smile. Um, this one is 
three little mini ones together. It's a teacup with a bird, a spoon, and a tea bag. But like the one here is a little tea setting die. This one is a little teacup. I think it has like plants in it. This one is a teapot. So just so you can see the difference. This one is a stack of teapots with a bird on it. This one says tea time. This one says love. So this each one is different. Um, so I've added a die in each one. Then there are two snippets that I have created. And there's some differences in the lace or fabrics, but they're very, very similar. So they have the teapot ovals from Digital Collage Club as well. And so I've inked those up, layered. There's four layers total with some stitching. So you get two of those to include in your tea project. And then I've kind of already ruined how pretty this looked, but this is your kind of trim and fabric pack. So these are also courtesy of the Magnolia Seed. She sent me some of these. Look at how beautiful they are. And then I've clipped on a little beaded safety pin. Each one has a different little beaded safety pin. My mother-in-law made those. And then there's some lace. Um, most of the kits have this lace. There's one or two, I think. Maybe not. I thought there was one or two kits that had a different lace. Hmm. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. There might be. <laughs> we might have had enough. Oh, we think we had enough of this lace. And then each one has two of this floral kind of trim lace. And then a piece. Most of them have a piece of this. Some of them have this white ribbon there when I ran out of this. And then I've got to show you this fabric I have found. It is the most beautiful teapot tea. It would be just look at the gorgeous colors on this. It would be enough to cover a mini journal or I was thinking more like a few fabric flips, pockets, tuck spots, things like that. But isn't that gorgeous? So each kit has a strip piece like this. And again, bear with me while I put things back the way they should go. I'm trying to keep everything looking pretty. Then I have an extra little tea bag that has a beaded tassel. These are all handmade. I made all of them. Each one is completely different um, and done individually. They all have four strands. And for example, here's the beads on this one. You might see some of the same beads. Um, some are gonna be different. It's just totally, it's kind of random-ish. It's so pretty. And then each one has a spoon charm and each spoon is slightly different as well. This one has a ship on the top. Some of them are more gold or bronze colored and um, some of them have little items on them or not, but look at how pretty cute that is. So that could hang on your journal. There's all different kinds of beads. And so this was definitely a labor of love. I loved making these, but believe me, they take time. You have to, to string all the beads on and tie it off and plan your beads and all that stuff. So got that. Then I have these, there's some of them have polka dots, these gray bags, some have stripes, some have different patterns. But if you like these bags and you're not buying the kit, I do have some for sale in the junk journal supplies section of my shop. It's like a little candy bag. And then I've added one of the Digital Collage Club images on the front so you can reuse the bag and then inside there are six mini booklets and these are using papers from antique papery and uh, definitely definitely go check her out on etsy i will try to put her link below if for some reason i've forgotten to put her link below just go over to my facebook group nevermore creations drunk journals and friends right up at the top is a pinned post called uh, shops i frequently mention and use and you will find it there but this is uh, her tea papers set and i printed them small to make little booklets but each each bag has the same papers, six little booklets. And so some of them are, I've stenciled on the inside. So some of them are little booklets like this. As you can see, 
Um, this one has graph paper. So this one has all booklets. Some of them just have list pads where some card stock or index cards or something is just, you flip it up this way. Some have ones like that as well. They're it's pretty much random. Um, so you get six booklets that you can tuck into your journals. That took a lot of work for sure. And then you get a giant double wallpaper tag. Each, each kit has a different wallpaper. And so you could journal on the inside, decorate them, whatever you want to do. Each kit also has a tea set stencil. These are brand new. So you get one of those. Then we have some book pages. Each kit has one book page from a rose book, one book page from Pride and Prejudice, one vintage 1950s French, or I think it's an um, English French dictionary page, a carpet and a, like upholstery type carpet pa book page, a address book page. And so those are the book pages. And then I have designed this paper pack whoop, specifically for this kit. And it will also be available in my shop as under my dollar digis section or in the printed uh, pages section where you can buy it printed. But look at how pretty this is. Look at the little bird with the tea bag. And then this one just has a poppy in the middle. This is a bonus page. This one has the little kitty in a teapot and then another teapot. This one has a little puppy and a sugar bowl and then a teapot up there. This one has a frog and a spoon and then a teapot. This one has a mouse in a teacup and a teapot. This one has a rabbit in a pitcher and a teapot. <laughs> so that is, everybody gets that printed on presentation paper. And then you get a big piece of wallpaper. Each one is different. And that is so you could cover a journal if you wanted to. Plenty big enough to cover a journal or use any way you want. They're all this really pretty kind of tea. They're different colors, but they all look like they come from a tea party. And then you get two pieces of cardstock that kind of look like they have been stained. However, they're, um, you know, scrapbook paper. They're not, I didn't actually do it, but there's different hues and tones, but you get two of those. And then I have put together a vintage tea postcard kit. Um, they're seven pages, 40, 40 something. I don't remember how many exactly. 40 something tea postcards. They're all vintage and they are printed on glossy, this kind of glossy paper. It's kind of, I think it's a vintage paper too. So I got it off of eBay, but sweet images that you can cut out. They're all tea themed and you can use them. This will also be available in my shop. Um, if you want to purchase it, if you don't want to get the whole kit or the kits are sold out or whatever, look at how cute these little animals in bed drinking tea are. So anyway, you get all those. And then there's a piece of chipboard, lightweight chipboard for, um, rigidity, but you can use it to create a journal cover. And the last piece is also from Magnolia Seed and you get a piece of this tea, uh, teapot, tea set wallpaper. Most of them are about this size and folded in half. There's one or two that are smaller. And so I have included an extra piece of pink floral wallpaper to make up for that. So that is the kit. It is pretty intense. But there's a lot going on. I hope you love it as much as I do. I hope you see um, something in here that you know you'll want to use. Again, 10 kits. Here's what it looks like all packaged up, ready to ship. So they are in the junk journal supplies section of my shop. Just click the link below. Thank you so much. I'll see all of you in the next video.